Hi, my name is Dave Whitesley. I'm Technical Director of Envisage UK Limited, and I'd like to take this opportunity to run through a quick video on how to migrate uh, your styles and templates to Inventor 2018. So typically uh, a company would have the design data and templates and content center files held on their server. Um, what I've done here is I've taken my 2016 design data folder and copied it and renamed it as design data 2018. I've done the same with ten templates 2016 and renamed that to templates 2018, ready to migrate these two folders. The content center location I will leave alone. We tend to leave this alone between various releases of Inventor. This is where the content center file models are placed. If you don't use this on all your inventors, then what will happen is that you will have problems open up in assemblies on certain machines because they're not pointing to the central content center location folder. Right, the first thing we need to do with the templates 2018 folder is just to go to its properties and turn off read only on the folder and any subfolders and files. Um, some of the uh, templates um, that are supplied by Autodesk are read-only and they will fail in the migration. The other thing we need to do is, because we're going from 2016 to 2018, 2016 was before 3D PDF came out, so we just need to take the um, PDF templates and copy those across to our 2018 folder. You'll also notice that I've still got the standard templates in my templates folder. It's a good idea to leave the standard templates there because these are used by certain functions within Inventor, uh, such as um, the multi-body model modeling command of make components that uses standard templates by default. Okay, so now that we've got our folders created, we need to migrate first of all the design data folder. So we just go to the styles library manager, just type in styles. Um, in the box in Windows 10 just to get to the relevant command or style and um, we need to run up the style library manager 2018 make sure that you've run inventor 2018 last as well so that it runs that up so let's run up the migration wizard uh, point to the uh, styles for 2018 don't forget this was copied from 2016 so this now needs to be migrated and click on the migrate button. Once the migration is finished, then we can run up Inventor 2018 and uh, plug in the relevant folder for the styles library. So let's go into application options, go to the file tab, point to the design data, the styles folder, position this and point it to the new migrated folder. Do the same for the symbol library folder. And make sure that you point to the content center folder that we use for the content. So that's three done already. Um, we've just got to do the templates now. So OK on that. Close the inventor down. Go to the Autodesk folder, Inventor 2018 tools, and choose the task scheduler. Let's create a task. Point to the folder where our copied 2018 templates are held. We need to make sure we tick the immediate box. So these are immediately migrated. Click on OK and that will run the migration for the templates. Once the migration is finished you'll get a green tick to show it's completed successfully. If it hasn't uh, you'll get a red plus. This is normally due to the fact that one of the files is read-only. We can right click on the job and create a report and this will actually create us uh, an HTML document on the file migration, whether it's been successful or not. These are all successful. And finally, we just need to go back into uh, Inventor 2018. 
plug in the Inventor 20, the templates folder location, and we're ready to go. So uh, one last thing though um, to look out for, let's just close the migration wizard down. Uh, if we go back into the application options, file tab, point to the, uh, the new template location. Okay, so templates, styles library, sketch symbol folder, which is a subfolder of the styles library, the content center location, all on our server. Okay on that. We'll just pop between two projects just to set that or save that. And then if I start something like a new drawing, if this happens, this is um, a style conflict between the template and the styles library. The styles library is your company standards. This is the one on the server. So this is the master. So purely to um, fix this, all you've got to do is just um, start the uh, template and just save it back as a template over the location on the server and the templates 2018 folder close down the one that we just opened and then if we start um, a template again that warning's gone away so there you are I've been Dave Whiteley um, we uh, are Envisage UK Limited. We are a UK supplier of Autodesk software. If you want to contact me regarding subscription upgrades or technical support or training, my uh, contact details are on the screen. Thank you very much.